Okay, this is going to be really controversial, but I feel like one of my friends were talking about it, and I felt like I should probably uh, just give a little bit of a take on this. It's going to be a hot take, but uh, I think Han Solo in The Force Awakens and in the sequels, his role works. But, I mean, I feel like it could have been better, but I feel like uh, he wasn't a character that's ruined. I feel like, it, I, I argue maybe it improves his character a bit more, more than it was. But, I mean, I'm not saying about like a crazy amount, but I think it does improve it nonetheless. Okay, so, starting off with the in real life reason why Han Solo dies in A New Hope. Um... And, you know, people are going to get mad about this. People say, oh, he shouldn't have been killed off. But, like, JJ kind of just did not have an option. Like, I, I mean, there's there's no other way to put it. Harrison Ford really hates Star Wars. And he really hates Star, Son, Han Solo. So he just wouldn't said he would not come back after Episode 7. Well, you might just blame JJ for not having... Uh, the team get back together, but, well, like, Harrison literally just told him that he would not come back for another movie, and he already wanted George to kill off Han in uh, 6, and he was pissed that he didn't, and yeah, so he just would not come back. You might say, oh, then how do you come back in 9? Well, he got paid $10 million for that 20-second scene, bro. So yeah, they, he, like, my boy literally got paid more than the entire main cast in that movie for a 30-second cameo. Like, that's just bananas. I don't even know how to say it. I mean, I don't like to blame people, but yeah, if you're mad about Han Solo dying, then uh, Harrison Ford is the guy who kind of caused that to happen. You know? So, I mean, yeah, there was no other way around. And I feel like Han's death did kind of help the other characters. Like, Kylo especially. Uh, I mean, Leia a little bit. Uh, Rey... And, uh, Chewie, I mean, I mean, he doesn't have much character for him because I mean, Chewie's already, like, he's, like, an ancillary character, but, like, still. Okay, now let's get into, well, uh, Han, it didn't ruin Han as a character. So, when we first meet Han, he is a smuggler for, like, spice and stuff like that. Uh, and, well, basically, like, a space pirate in... When Obi-Wan comes to uh, Mos Eisley, Han is literally the scum he is talking about. Like, he is, like, one of the worst. I mean, we see him. He's killing Greedo easily, bro. Like, he, he's, he's top dog in there, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so throughout the movie, he really just helps Luke and Leia because he's in the situation where he has to help or he might die as well. And the only person he really cares about uh, in A New Hope is Chewie. And then he goes back to help them. Uh, and it shows that he cares more about people. And he does have another side. And he develops to become not selfless, but less than selfish for sure. Uh, Empire. He is... I mean, he. I mean, it's mainly about him and Leia becoming together. Getting together and uh, this whole uh, starts it where you know it becomes uh, more caring and more kind and uh, more devoted. And then in Return of the Jedi, all comes around. He's selfless. He's uh, still, you know, the wise guy that we all love, and you know, like the pirate. You know, like he's still like the same Han, but he's his morals. And his uh, way of life is changing to, you know, have some more honor. But, uh, you know, he, I mean, he's imperfect, but, like, his character is rounded up for the most part, at least. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, we see him go from selfish, selfish criminal, and just a bad dude you don't want to mess with. And, you know, like, one of Jabba's guys, kind of. And then, um, becomes the exact opposite. He fights those dudes. He fights with the Rebellion. He fights in a battle that he could almost never win. And they just end up winning it. And, uh, he's more hopeful. And he's, I mean, he's a nihilist in the beginning. I mean, you can still argue he's kind of, but he's a lot more optimistic towards the end. And overall, he's just a lot more outgoing, you know. 
he was originally. And, you know, I feel like that shows, like, the typical, um, I don't know, it's kind of like, what, well, what's the, like, I wouldn't say bully, but, like, gray character going from, like, gray to, like, a good guy. But, um, then people like to say that everything was undone because in The Force Awakens, he becomes, he goes back to what he is in A New Hope. And to that, I mean, I think they're right about, like, Luke uh, screwing up his character, but I just don't think they screwed up on, really. Because, well, when we see in A New Hope, or uh, in Force Awakens, it's just not the same dude we see in A New Hope. Okay, in The Force Awakens, he, him and Chewie, are trying to find the Millennium Falcon when they do, and Rey and uh, Finn are on it. Uh, so, and then they have some uh, trouble with the uh, the dudes with the weird octopuses. I don't, I don't know their names, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, people say that, like, he's just, like, a smuggler again, and I feel like the old Han that we see in A New Hope would not have lost in, lost the Falcon. And, uh, well, oh, okay, here's another thing that I have to say. He, people say that he's just a deadbeat smuggler dad, just like what he was supposed to be. And that he shouldn't have divorced Leia. I don't think he should have divorced Leia. But in the movies, it never really implies that he's a deadbeat dad. Luke's order is similar to the order... Of the Republic, Jedi Order of the Republic, as you can't, like, the parents can't come and visit the kids, because, like, then, because Luke's order is against attachments as well, right, and so, yeah, Han can't visit his son, and after, him and Leia have problems in uh, a book, right, and then afterwards, he and Leia, after they have problems, Kylo turns to the dark side, and then they split up. So it's not like he just left them and then Kylo turns the dark side. No, it's the op exact opposite. Kylo, I mean, you know, becoming a genocide maniac could probably cause people to divorce, right? So then uh, Han goes on his own way and he goes back to the only thing he knows without Leia. Um, like, he, he probably doesn't have a, I mean, a place in the New Republic. There's no resistance at this point yet, really. And so he just goes back to kind of smuggling, I guess. He's not just a normal smug. I mean, yeah, somewhat smuggling. Not like the same way he was. I mean, he was just like, that was just like his life. And now, I mean, well, I mean, yeah, okay, so yeah, it's pretty much a smuggling man. Him and Chewie go back to it. And I mean, like, that's the only thing he knew. So after his life's ruined, obviously you go back to what you know. Instead of trying something new, which, you know, probably won't work for you. Uh, which, I mean, I feel like that's just a... A Han move rather than you know like a smart move sometimes, but so I don't think they should have been divorced. But the reason provided does make sense. Like I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Uh, but so, anyways, is he the same dude we see in A New Hope? No, not at all. In the in A New Hope, another thing about him is that he literally just does not believe the Force exists. Like, he just thinks, oh, yeah, Blaster beats anybody. Like, you know what I mean? He just thinks, like, oh, no, no Force. No, uh, no Metachlorians, none of that shit. And then, uh, I mean, now he's aware of the Sith, the Jedi, the Force, like, all that stuff. And, I mean, he believes it. And he, uh, like, I mean, I wouldn't say he preaches it. But, I mean, if you ask him about it, he tells him. Like, in the scene, he tells him, yeah, it was true, all of it. Uh, so that's something that he grew on a lot. Uh, he isn't selfish really anymore. He cares about Leia, he shows. He clearly cares about Benny, but his life on the line for him. Obviously he still cares about Chewie. He shows care for Ray and Finn. So, um and he fights for the resistance even though he didn't have to. And that was completely volunteer. And it wasn't like he was really forced to like he was uh in episode four. And so yeah, I feel like that shows once again that he does care. And that he's not the same dude he was in A New Hope. I also don't think he's as greedy as he was uh, in A New Hope. But 
Uh, you boys gotta get the bags. But yeah, I still, I think he's, uh, the, I feel like he's just kind of a mix between all three of the movies and added wisdom and experience, you know what I mean? But, I, I just don't think, he, he's not the same as he is in The Return of the Jedi. He shouldn't be, I mean, it's been like 30 years, people don't say the same one for 30 years, but it's not like he's like Luke where it's a 100% flip of a person. Um, he's grown from there, and, uh, his life changes a lot, I mean, the world around him changes a lot, so, I mean, he changes in ways to adapt to that, but it's not like he himself changes, um, like, super much, it's just, like, the way he does things more so that changes, uh, at least that's how I see it, but, once again, I feel like he's a lot more just of a better guy than he is in A New Hope or Empire. And, uh, I don't know if he's as, like, morally strong as he is in uh, Return of the Jedi, but he's probably similar. But I feel like, you know, him and Leia ending, that had his effects on him, because, I mean, that was his wife. He did love her. So that probably did make him a little rotten. You know what I mean? But... Considering all the things that he's gone through, him being a little less positive and optimistic than he is in Return of the Jedi makes sense and is to be expected. But him being the same as he is in New Hope or Empire, it's just not true. It's just not. But uh, just to wrap things up, I feel like Han... His character was improved by the sequels. I feel like uh, if the three of them did have a reunion, it would be awesome. I feel like the fans did deserve that. But I also think it was kind of like a bittersweet type of thing where Han dies. But uh, then again, like it would not have like fit well in the movie. They'd have to change the movie a lot because... You know, Luke the, the, Luke was like hidden and stuff. And they'd have to have him earlier. And that ending was pretty dope with Luke. On the uh, rock. I mean, obviously some people don't like that, but I think that was cool. And uh, I just feel like uh, all three of them meeting, and then like who's gonna like, like how long is he gonna take on all three of them? You know what I mean? Like I don't know. It wouldn't have fit in the story as well. I mean, you could adapt it, but overall, I feel like Han Solo in the sequels played a pretty good role. And it did improve his character, in my opinion at least. Tell me what you think in the comments down below about Han or anything or any video ideas you might have. But anyways, have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye.